Today in our uh, tool maintenance section of the channel, I'm actually going to fix, this is a saw stop table saw, industrial type, beautiful, beautiful uh, table saws. But there are some things that are a little weak on them, and one of them is in a situation like this one where I'm actually in a school environment here, so when you want to crank up your blade, you have to loosen this knob and crank it up. A lot of people don't do that and they wear out the little key that's inside the shaft. So I'm going to replace that key today so that we can lock the blade in. I'll give you a zoom in on what actually happens here and then we'll get right at her. What we got going on here is this is the, the knob, you see that it's tapered here, and there is a keyway. Basically, this just pushes up against the keyway and locks everything into uh, locks everything in position. What ends up happening is the groove wears in at the top here, and then you got no more power pushing down, and you can't lock it. So let's get going on changing this. It's not too bad. It does take a little bit of time, but you got to do it. Okay, you can see the two gears there. Now the shaft, that's the shaft over here that goes out to the handle. So we got to take that bottom gear off and if you just kind of see there's a couple of allen set screws on that gear and we need to uh, loosen that off to get that gear off. Now the gear has a little, you can see the spring washer on there so there is a little bit of tension on there. So we got to make sure to just push it in and just feel how much tension there is so that you know when you put it back together. Okay I've got the two set screws on the gears taken off. Now I'm just going to pull the shaft out. Make sure you uh, it was coming out easy. I need a bit of a screwdriver. Use the screwdriver here just to give it a hand. You can see the shaft set up here. So this is where your handle bolts onto. The gear goes on here. Right here. That's the little key right there. So we'll pop that out. Now, so you don't have to figure it out. These are 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench there. Let's see when I turn this in, it kind of pushes it up. This one's in pretty good shape. 
but it's a little worn on the outside. So we'll put a new one in there, see if that fixes our problem. And we're going to clean the shaft down here as well. We'll just spray it in and just uh, spray some uh, penetrating oil and blow it out. Make a bit of a mess, but it's all right. Stick the rag in there first. gear off. So on the back side we got to put this washer on and then this little spring washer and that's what's going to give us our tension. So everything's got to go back together the same way. So we'll uh, slide that in there like that. See that's a little snugger. Put the gear back on. putting that gear on at the back you got to kind of set the washers on first put the gear in and kind of work it in it's a little bit of a pain oh that feels better already so now you can see that locks the blade everything's good now all we have to do is just tighten this down and job done Three millimeter Allen wrench for the handle. Blade locks into position now. Success story. So all it is just a simple little keyway. Now it's only a 20 minute fix but it's one of those things that uh, it's just a pain to get at. Once you get started it's not too bad. The only little tip I can give you is if you're gonna have to do this make sure you vacuum the inside of your uh, cabinet out because you will probably drop one of those washers. You don't want to have to be looking for it. Other than that, pretty simple little fix.